Hi, I'm Corey Nockreiner for the WatchGuard Wire. Today I'm going to show you an attack called sidejacking. If you listen to September's Radio Free Security podcast, you heard an interview Scott Pinzon conducted with uh, one of the Black Hat speakers, Robert Graham. At his Black Hat presentation, Robert showed a technique called sidejacking and two tools he created to, to perform this attack technique. So what is sidejacking? Really, sidejacking is just Robert and David Maynard's neat little name for something called session hijacking. Session hijacking is when you're on a network, whether it's wired or wireless, and you sniff the network traffic to pick up session information like web cookies. If you get enough of this information and websites aren't designed securely enough, you can use that information to then hijack some other user's web session and log on to that user's web account. In this case, Robert actually hijacked a, a someone's login to Gmail. And what made it really neat is apparently during his talk, some poor person in the audience logged on to Gmail. So he showed this in a real scenario. So the way this attack works is with two tools that Robert Graham and David Maynard of Arata Security made. One tool is called Ferret. It's basically just a packet sniffer, except it's designed just to look for very specific information passing on a network. Then there's another tool called Hamster. And Hamster is just a local web proxy that actually translates what Ferret captures and displays it in a neat web GUI so that you can easily see what's going on and hijack sessions. But rather than just talk about it, let me show you how it works. OK, to start this attack, I need to run a packet sniffer called Ferret. And before I run it, I need to find out what network interface I'm going to use. So I type it using this W switch. And I can see my wireless card is the second device. So now I can run ferret-i2. That gets a sniffer running on my wireless network, sniffing all the traffic that happens on this wireless network. So now that that's going, let's see what happens when Sarah, someone else in this wireless network, logs on to Gmail. So now that Sarah's logged into Gmail, let's see what happens from the hacker's perspective. The first thing I need to do is open another command prompt and run hamster. Hamster is simply a proxy server that runs on my computer. So once I have this running, I have to open up a web browser. Uh, any web browser will do, but I need to set my web browser to use hamster as its proxy server. Uh, to do this in Firefox, I can go here and I set up 127.0.0 as the proxy server's local host, which is my computer, on port 3128. Then I tell Firefox to redirect all network connections through Hamster. Now that that's set up, I simply have to go to Hamster in my URL, and it brings up uh, Robert's great little web-based uh, hacking UR GUI. So here we can see an IP 192.168.39.70, which is actually Sarah, Sarah's IP on this wireless network. If I click on that IP and open up this window a little, I can see everywhere Sarah's browsed, including mail.google.com. So if I go ahead and click there, we'll see what happens. And there's Sarah's Google email. I can even click on any of these email messages and read them. Pretty scary. Just a few clicks, I can see everything Sarah gets. So now that you've seen how easy it is for hackers to hijack your Gmail session, you probably want to know how to protect yourself. The key to this is making sure all your sensitive web connections are encrypted. In the case specifically of Gmail, don't go to gmail.com in the URL. Instead, go to the URL displaying at the bottom of the screen. This ensures that the entire Gmail session is encrypted and not just the login. Other sites might just do different things in this, but the key is make sure when you're visiting these sites that they always show HTTPS within the URL, or if you can go to profile settings, make sure they use SSL. If you'd like to learn more about sidejacking from the guy that actually demoed it at Black Hat, be sure to check out our September episode of Radio Free Security. There, Robert Graham describes this technique in much more detail. Plus, he shares links where you can download these tools yourself and try them out. Thanks for watching, and continue to follow the WatchGuard Wire.